Okay. This is Chisau section two from Lapsau. Okay, we can start in Hunsau or we can start in Lapsau. Nothing new. Up, up, up. Too low, too high, too high. Don't, yeah. Blade on, correct. There you go. Okay. So from here, he does indoor paksau with this hand. Attacks. I make bongsau wusau. Keep this hand safe with the wusau. Come underneath with a kwansau. I get underneath his elbow. And now I push his elbow up. And I, my, my aim is to push him up and back against the wall. Okay? He wants to defend this. Here. He wants to defend this by not tensing up and resisting my movement of pushing him up, but by taking me on a journey, on a trip, letting me go up and then pushing it down, which brings my hand down. As long as I still keep trying to push him, I'm going to be more or less glued to his elbow, and he takes advantage of that and pulls in. Iras, step in with Iras. Boom! Hits me with the shoulder. Okay? Let's do this on the other side. Uh, I punch over here, so here. Okay, left up, left up. Here. Okay. He attacks. I stop it with the Wusa, come from underneath, bring his elbow up and grab his wrist. And I want to push his elbow down. He lets me do this, but makes a circular movement to go down from here to bring my hand down. That opens up my chest for his shoulder. And he hits my chest with the shoulder, stepping literally, stepping sideways from here. Literally stepping from Iris to Iris over here. Okay. I was facing this way, turn this foot, and turn this foot already. You set the foot down this way rather than this way and then turn in. So the important thing is when you step from here, you step with your, with your heel pointing in the direction of your hip. Or from frontal, I turn this foot, I step in, boom. Okay, a little bit further away so I can still see the foot here. Oh, step in. And as you do this, you do this movement from the point. Come on, don't resist. Up and down. Boom. Yeah. Right here. Turn the toes in. There you go. Okay, again. Okay. Right. And you have to let him do it. Don't fight against him. Correct. Just in that relaxed way. And then you're on the other side now. You're on this side now. Let him do it. Elbow down. Only pick the elbow up when I pick it up. Boom. Let him do it. Take a step back, let him hit you there, okay? Then over time, as you get more used to that movement, you keep your elbow between you and him. On the other side. He comes in, I keep my elbow between him and me, and as I take my step back, 
And his next move is he punches with this hand or palms with this hand. And steps two. Okay, again. Boom, I punch up. Don't let me punch up. You have to jets out my punch. <laughs> and then camera angle is really good. Punch. Punch you. Punch, yeah. I punch under, you jut out and then you punch again. You tune out through. Okay, I'm gonna be the attacker now. So he's punching over my Rusa. I come in and attack with Indo Paksau Punch. He grabs my elbow, pushes it up, turns sideways, go down, hit him, and I try to punch him, and he punches up underneath. Don't step back like that. Punches up underneath, which I have to jut out down, and I do my typical chun sao punch. From here, he goes Indo Bong Sao, and now he can flip me, and Attack me on the other side. Now we can attack over here. There. Okay, no, sorry. I have to do it. Cool. So you and Bong Sao punch over. Boom, boom. Watch out. Punch up, punch up. Chat Sao. Boom. There. Okay. Now we're on this side. Joe, up Sao. Why do you punch over there? I always want to do that. Always wants to go with that. Yes. Yeah. And chop, chats out, chats out to the elbow, punch, and now we're here. Okay, I'll flip him. I'm back on this side. Punch over. That's all. That's all. Get that jet out faster. Just one, one foot, shoot, and punch up. Watch the edge. Don't fall down there. Punch. Punch over. Punch. Punch! 
that's all right. You have to punch. No, that's not a punch. Yeah, that's more like a punch. That's our punch. That's our punch. Yes, there you go. Yes. Now they're making it work. That's it. Up. Okay, so that's the game for the first for the first lever. The first lever is up, up and push the guy back. He's trying to go up and push me back. No, no, no! Don't quit! Don't don't crank my elbow on this one, my shoulder. Just push me back up here. Okay. There's a slightly simpler defense for that when he does this. Punch him. Okay. No, no, not from there. There. From here. Yeah, correct. Okay. I'm trying to, I'm working hard on his arm here. All he needs to do is keep his center line on me, and I can't do this. He can just punch me. Okay. The response to that one is. What is the response to this one? Punch up with this hand. Yeah, there you go. That's the easy one, okay? Punch. Punch up with that. Yeah, that's it. Ba, 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 ba. Stay on the center. Stay on the center. You, you always want to move your hand on it. Don't do it. Knees together, yeah. Stay on the center, attack the center. A little elbow, yes. See how it always goes over here? <laughs> yeah. Punch over. Anyway, hello, wake up, wake up, you're, 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 you're losing it, wake up, okay, so first one, punch, punch over, punch over, he comes in, and he wants to push me up like that, and I just turn and punch, again, then, if he does it right, come on, I can't do it because he's turning my body. I can't hit him here. So now I push my guide his hands down and hit him with the shoulder. And then I punch. And he jumps back, punches up high. I jut cell, go to here. The second one is a different lever. The second lever turns him around. Okay. It doesn't go up to push him back against the wall, but it turns him around. It literally shoulder dislocate right here. If you do that quick and relaxed and with a lot of quick power, it'll take the shoulder out. So the remedy for that is, let's say, come on, come on, come on. the remedy for that is as I'm attacking and he's turning me like that, I let myself fall back against him and with my shoulder right back in, collapsing his own arms against him. And now with the free hand and my back foot, I step back and I hit him low here with the free hand. Or I can hit him with both hands. That's this part from Sun and Tao. Okay. This part here, one, bum, these. 
You can do it with one hand while this hand is cranked, or most of the time you can do it with two hands too. Turn him around. He collapses my elbow against me. And then, yeah, here now, as you can see with his elbow, his elbow is out like that. He can't prevent me from giving him a lance out to the back. Let's do this again. Turn around. I'm turning him around. And he's trying to hit me there, but I stop him with my lance out. Okay? So now he's going to try that on me. I'm, a I'm attacking him within the Paxal punch. He turns my elbow around. And he wants to elbow me here in the back. Okay, and now I have to, with my free hand, let's go this way, with the free hand here, and I have to be really close to my own elbow and literally bring his, bring his elbow up so he can't hit me in the back. He's trying to hit me in the back, come from the distance, try to hit me in the back with the avance out like that. I literally have to do this. And now with the front foot, this foot here, <laughs> I have to step through and backwards to push him back away mm -hmm. with the rearward gums out. Let's do this a little bit lower. Oh. This one. He's trying to elbow me, and I use this hand here to bring it up. And now I step through. Let's go further away. It's easier with the cameraman present. push him, but to literally do this. Watch that. Come on, wake up. Wake up, be, be present, okay? And then here, hit, okay? So the important thing is that when you come from back here, your elbows need to be there, not here. Right? That's that same movement from here to here. The elbow has to be real tight, so when it comes from the front, it literally jump, jump, whoop. this part. The elbows have to be real close together, otherwise you're not going to catch his elbow from below. And you lance out with this elbow here, whoop. lance out. <laughs> and it automatically wants to go right here where the groin is. Okay. Now see, you're gonna have to move. <laughs> okay. So now the counter for that is, let's say I do this again. He twists me around. I turn myself around real quick. Push his elbow up, and I try to double. Weird word dumps out in right here. Okay, you do that with me. That means you attack in the park. In the park. Turn around. Push my elbow up. Push my lance out up. Okay. And step back with both hands. And I have to double gants out basically and step back. And then I hit him in the kidneys from behind with this. <clears throat> That's the next step. Keep the elbow down. Keep the wrist down. Yeah. You attack me. No, not first attack. Into a poxa. Get the, get the blade up. Get the blade up. Okay, go. Cool. 
Come on, both hands, both hands, both hands. Yeah. Here, and then boom. <coughs> the way out of that is by keeping the hand uh, where your leg is back way inward. That means this hand here, my left leg is back, my left hand is in. I keep that hand way inward. I don't let it be pushed out like this. I keep it way in here. I turn around, keep it on the center line, and step in with the gansau from there. With the man, it's like this. I do this, he defends it. I turn around, I try to attack him here. He splits my arms apart as I go back in, split my arms apart within two, two gansals from the inside, okay? And now he wants, to, not so far, just far enough so he can get in. And now he wants to hit me from behind like this. So my job is now to keep my left hand really tight and basically attack his crotch as I'm turning around to punch him. Again. Goes in. Almost out of camera, so start here. <clears throat> Do this nice and slow. That's how you get rid of this chun bum <clears throat> kidney attack. Okay? That's number two. And the funny part is at the end of each one of these attacks and counters, you can always go back into Lapsau from there and do the same thing again. Most of the time it ends up being on the other side. So you have a continuous movement. You never have to reset and stop the way we do right now. We have to think what was the next one. Okay, the next one is uh, I punch over him. Okay, he attacks, and I now want to push him into the cross arm lever. Turn around, turn around, and do this. Okay, all right. <laughs> if I succeed, he can't hit me with his other hand. Right. So it's a little bit complicated to show this on the video. Alright, so he attacks in the pack. I'm going here. I turn his arm around, but instead of just trying to turn him around and then lanceoning him as he turns his body to keep him from collapsing me, I literally continue on here, slide, stay the other way. Face this way. I slide to his wrist with this hand and bring this one up here into his shoulder. So my forearm is right under his elbow, my, my hand is in his shoulder, and I can literally push him down forward, walk him into the wall as I want to. Okay, once you're there, it's quite difficult to get out. Get yeah. out of it? No, sir. Okay. There is a way to get out, but it's, it's, it's difficult, especially when you're struggling. It's really hard, all right? So, I'll attack. You turn me around like this. Okay, now you want to push my wrist behind my back here. Don't, don't, don't put too much pressure on the shoulder right now. I'm talking you through it. Okay, your left hand slides to my wrist and your right hand slides up under my arm and ends up on my shoulder, palm on my shoulder. You push my wrist up at the same time and don't lift your elbows up. Push me down. There you go, like this. That's what you're trying to do. Okay, so at this position, if he puts the pressure on, I can't hit him here. The only thing I could do is slide out this way. <laughs> That's in the direction of the move, right? So we're doing this again. Go ahead, do that movement. So I just continue to turn this way, and he's literally hanging himself to my own arm. And as I turn, he just, he just has no choice but to turn with me. So you have to be the center of the centrifuge. <clears throat> Don't walk around him, but make him walk around you. Very good. Right. That's number three. 
number four. What's number four? It's been a while since we did this. I have to look at the printout. Don't, don't, stay where you are. Yeah, stay where you are. Balance on your feet. There you go. Okay. Number four is basically, go ahead. Uh, change hands, change hands. So I have to do it on this side to show you what's going on. Okay, so now he attacks in the Pak Sao. I Wu Sao like here, grab his elbow and turn myself back in the iris and I pull him past me. So I'm standing here facing him and then when he comes I literally do this and pull him past me. <coughs> Stood on the other side so you can see that part better. Okay, you attack here. Attack, I do my Wu Sao. I grab my hand, I grab here, and now I turn my body and I pull him in that direction of his attack. And I'm now Iris facing 90 degrees from my original position. <clears throat> you can do this from here as well. Boom. He attacks. Boom. Right. The counter to that one is we punch on the other side. Punch. I go here. You do the same thing as before, and now you just pull me that way. That's right. Okay. The counter is when you do this, you get attack. Punch over. Attack here. Step, side kick him with this kick. Okay. So from this side, you attack. You kick, boom, right. And your arm like this, not pulling back. Okay. Your arm goes just like in the corner. Right. There you go. Yeah, that's how you open the eye. Otherwise, I'll be able to keep you down very easily. Okay. So, continuing on, once he's there and he kicks, I push his arms down with double gums out. Boom. And he turns his body to me and makes a tonsil here. Tonsil and go forward. No, no, step in. Tonsil forward and step in. That's it. Okay. So again, we're here, he's trying to kick, I push it down, he steps in like this. Now we're back to Lapsa. Come on. Don't go back so far so on your own, it's not necessary. Only go as far as I make you go. Elbow in, elbow in, in. Right, okay. Again, whoop, he attacks, I make him go here, he wants to kick, I push him down, he goes here. section or from the long pole techniques he attacks I grab his wrist and I go push him down straighten his arm out relax his shoulder keep your head up and then I hit him with oh. his own shoulder in his head that's this attack with the long pole so I got him right here and then I hit him with his own with his own shoulder <laughs> okay yeah. Somebody has really tight shoulders, it's less, it's less effective in, in terms of hitting them, but it's easy to push them away. <clears throat> so those are the five levers or lever attacks that we use on the counters. Again, review. First, ah, where does this hand go? Stay on the center, stay on the center at all costs. Make me get around you. Don't get around me. Yes, stay on the center. That's right. Go ahead. Boom, go, go. Okay. First one, I attack 
uh, he attacks and I'll make him go. I'll do the defense, I'll do the levers. Come on, step in, step in, step in. Bring his elbow up and push him back. Don't, don't turn. Just let me push it back. Just let me do it. Okay, there, there you go, there you go. Don't step up, yeah. Same thing, all the time, all the time. Occupy the center, occupy Wall Street. Okay, yeah, occupy the center, right. Okay, next one, the attack, yeah. And I turn him around, come on, step in. I turn him around, okay. Just, just go to that, that's it, turn back around. Second one is turn around. Third one is almost the same thing, turn around, but stick your hand through and put him into this cross arm lever. Okay. Don't do this. You always come around like this. You can't do this all the time. I keep telling you every time, I keep reminding you. I put my hand right there, you put your hand right here to, to avoid it. Then you're making me work. Yes, that's correct. Don't do this. You always give me a chance to hit. <clears throat> Cut. Nope. Okay, so that was the third one. Fourth one is do it on the other side. Come on. Here. Come on, attack. He wants to attack and steps really far. I laps out and I pull him in the direction of his punch, of his attack. So he goes right past me. <clears throat> and the fifth one is the one where I use his arm like a long pole. So I give him a whiplash. Okay. I straighten his arm out, and downward as he attacks, right here. And then immediately I push him back on his own arm like it's a long pole. So those are the five attacks and we got the counters, we got the recounters, the follow up, follow foes and then how to go back in the lap cell from each one of them. So you can always keep on moving, you never have to reset. Thanks. That was